the M5. It's all right in the top gears, it's just the lower gears it struggles in. You're gonna have trouble shifting that. Well, I'll tell you what, mate, if I had the money, I'd buy it. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You're gonna move that or what? What can we do, eh? Gearbox is playing up. Is it? Well, I've got to get me jealous from somewhere if a boyfriend's enough and left me. Yeah, sorry about that. I was waiting on that alternator. Whatever gets you through. <sighs> Joe Chapel, Jackson's carer. I'd shake your hand, but this is the one I've been telling you about. Is that your car outside? It's just my boss is talking about having it towed. So. Seriously? Yeah, I'd shift it if I was you. Are you okay if I just? I think I'll manage. <clears throat> Have you seen the state of the shop? I can't believe it. Yeah, because they wheel me up there all the time just for a little treat. Should have been here on the night, though. Was it that bad? Bad as it gets. I've never felt so useless before in my life. And I'm getting plenty of practice at it. Right, I'll give you some space. Do you want anything? No, I'm fine, thanks. You're better than fine. You're doing great. Yeah, you have to say that. That's what you get paid for. He seems all right. Bit relentlessly cheerful. Hi. Um, listen, I hope you don't mind me calling round like this unannounced. It's all right, fill your boots. Yeah, I need a bit of a favour. The builders rocked up this morning, yeah, at the development. Right flaming shower they are. I'm not being funny, right, but just because I'm a woman doesn't mean I have Target tattooed across my forehead. Why, what are they up to? <sighs> They're tag-teaming me, trying to wear me down. You know, like them little things in Jurassic Park, where they won't let you rest or feed until you're weak, and then they attack. See you later. Hi. They do not know what they're messing with crossing me. They're gonna crash and burn. And you, you are my secret weapon. What are these in here, though? Don't ask me, I just found them on the doorstep. <sighs> what? Is it no no? I would have thought it was pretty obvious who they're from. Factory spoils from Mr. Smarmy himself. Thought I could have done better than a box of chocolates, though. It's like me giving you a sock full of spark plugs and a socket wrench. Won't need to bother sharing them with you, then, will I? You sure you won't stay for another? I can't. I'm driving out. Oh, you should see it later on when we break out the Irish dancing and bitches. <laughs> well, you can tell me about that tomorrow. All right, see you in a bit. Bye. Why don't you go over and thank him? Oh, she grabbing your style. Me and her get on just fine. In fact, the only person I've got a problem with around here is you. Excuse me. No, I wonder, what are you telling me? <laughs> Deny it. <laughs> Hiya. All right. Hi. It's you. Yeah, yeah, good. Thanks, yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the chocolates, by no the way. No worries. Uh, excuse me, what chocolates? Although it should actually be me buying you a gift to say thanks for all your advice. Any time, it's nice to feel useful for a change and uh, get some more for back for an hour, which is always a brucey. <laughs> she likes nothing more than a mission. Well, at least let me get you a drink. All right, then. Come on, you. I have 70, please. I'm not stumping up for these. Get your hand in your pocket, you time, get. Well, hang on a minute, you just said over there. I know. You? I kind of say all sorts. <laughs> I even make lies up about builders being out of control because somebody wants to keep their boyfriend happy. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. I'll ruin your bad boy image, you know. Thank you. 